Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make tuna casserole. Tuna casserole is an American classic, and let me tell you, this tuna casserole is the best. It's made from scratch and it is super tasty. You might even be able to win over all of the tuna haters. To start, you'll need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and lightly grease a 9 by 13 pan. Then we're going to head on over to the stove. Cook 12 ounces of egg noodles according to the package directions. That should take somewhere around 7 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and put together a sauce. In another saucepan, melt 3 tablespoons of butter over medium heat. Once the butter has melted, we're going to add in half of a white diced onion. Get that in there and we're going to let that saute for about 5 minutes. Once the onions are soft and translucent, we'll add in 3 cloves of minced garlic. Get that in there along with 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And stir this all together. The flour is going to be our thickening agent for this. Then you're going to pour in 2 cups of chicken broth along with 1 cup of milk. Stir this all together. Bring this to a simmer and cook it until it's thickened and then remove it from the heat. Pour your cooked pasta into your prepared 9 by 13 pan. Then we're going to take that sauce and add in two cans of solid white albacore tuna. This is the best tuna to work with. It tastes better and it's a lot less fishy, so you definitely want to use this when making a tuna casserole. Get that all in there with all those delicious chunks of tuna. And then you'll also add in two cups of frozen peas and stir it in. Then we're going to take this sauce and pour it directly over our pasta. Just pour it real quick right over the top of the pasta. And then you're also going to add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Let's stir this right in the pan. Last, we're going to make a breadcrumb mixture to sprinkle over the top. You'll need one cup of panko breadcrumbs. And you're going to toss the panko with a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese and three teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. You'll end up with a nice crumbly mixture and that's exactly what we're looking for. Next, take this, just sprinkle it over the top in a nice even layer. Bake this in the preheated 400 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until the top is golden brown. And then you're ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.